Today we're going to be going over the Infinity Feeding Pump by Moog. The first step is to open one of your brand new feeding bags. They come packaged like this and you will open it up and add the formula or the breast milk that you are using to the bag. Once you've opened the new feeding bag, you just fill it with your breast milk or your formula or whatever you're using to feed your child. We still have a few of the G-tube extensions left that take this adapter. So I will be screwing this adapter onto the end of the feeding tube but a lot of the new G-tube extensions, this just screws right into the extension. Once you've added the food to the bag, it's time to prime your line. The line is currently empty and full of air and you need to fill that with the food because you don't want to pump air into your child's stomach. There's two ways to prime the line. The first way, this is stretchy like a rubber band. You just put it around this black knob right here. You want to make sure that these aren't twisted and you take them, you hold them straight out and you just pull it until it clicks into place like that. I'll show you again. So this just stretches right around that black knob. Then you just take both of these, you hold them straight out so they don't get twisted and you just pull until it clicks right into place like that. Then you close it and lock it in place. This little, you can see these two marks right here. That's where you push to release it and open this front door. So you just push it right there and it locks in place and then you're ready to go to prime the line. Push the on button, the on off button, you just hold it down until your machine turns on. Once it's on, it'll display the current rate that it's feeding at. All you have to do at this point is right here where it says prime, you just hold down on that. As you hold down, you can see the formula going through the line. It's slowly pumping through the line and you just hold that prime button down until it gets the whole way to the very end and has filled up the whole tube. There's one other way to prime the line, which I usually do. It's a little faster, a little trickier, but really not that hard at all. Before you lock the line in place, when it's just hanging freely, you can see this side has a little teardrop on it. You basically squeeze the bag so there's pressure in the bag, and then you squeeze that teardrop together just put a little pressure where that teardrop is. It was hard to see, but once you squeeze that little teardrop while you're putting pressure on the bag, it just quickly goes through the line. It primes the line in half the amount of time. After you've opened the new bag, put in your feed and prime the line, you're ready to feed your child. You have to work with your GI doctor to get the correct rate and dose in order to set up the pump. But I will show you the functionality and how to set up the pump once you have those numbers. So the first thing that you would do is right here where it says rate dose, you would click that and that's going to display the dose so right now our son takes 170 ml and if you hit it again that'll show the rate so he takes 170 ml over 400 ml an hour so 200 ml an hour would be around 30 minutes so he's taking 170 at a little under 30 minutes. Those are the numbers that you have to figure out through uh, conversations with your GI doctor about where your child should be. 
But the way to change the ML for the rate and the dose, you simply push the button to, so it's displaying either the dose or the rate. So this is the dose. So you would just either the plus or the minus button. You would simply change it up and down and that's it. There's no set button or enter button or anything like that. You just change it to, to the dose or the rate that you desire and leave it there and then it's set. So then the dose is the same thing. You would go up and down and then it's set. Once your rate and your dose is set, you're ready to run the pump. So you would simply connect it to your child, to the G-Tube extension. The one thing that you have to double check is you would hit this volume total button and make sure that that's on zero. Say you fed your child during the last feeding and it made it to 170 and then it was done. At the end of the feeding, you should hit this volume total and then hit the clear button to bring it back to zero because wherever this number is, when you hit run and start the pump, it's going to start from that number. So if you go to feed your child and you hit run and it's saying complete or, or whatever it says, it's not working properly, it's probably because it's already displaying 170 ml. It might not be running for you because it was never zeroed out at the end of the last feed. So it's showing, it's displaying as complete. So you need to zero it out at the end of every feed or the beginning of every feed, whichever you prefer. So once it's been zeroed out and it's connected to your child, your rate and your dose is set. Once you hit run, it'll automatically go to this screen where it displays the rate. But if you hit the volume button, the volume total button, it will display real time where it is in the middle of the feed. The last thing I would like to mention is the first feed of the day, I always do about 20 to 30 ml more than what your feed calls for. So our son takes 170 ml. The first feed of the day, I always mix up 200 ml there's about 15 to 20 ml in the tube. So if you add an additional 20 to 30 ml to your first feed of the day, you won't have to prime the line every time your feed is complete at the beginning of a new feed. It's okay for the food to be in the line for up to four hours. Our son eats once every four hours. Breast milk and formula is okay at room temperature for up to four hours. So it's totally fine to leave it in the tube in between feedings. By adding the additional 20 to 30 ml for the first feed of the day, you're able to bypass the priming step every time that you have to feed your child. So it's just a nice tip to know about. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope this video was helpful, gave you some insight into how to use the Infinity Feeding Pump by Moog. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And as always, stay tuned for more dad days.